49. How many hydrogen atoms are present in a saturated hydrocarbon with 15 carbon atoms? What's your answer to that question? What is the IHD of a saturated hydrocarbon? A saturated hydrocarbon is basically an alkane. There's no double bonds, there's no triple bonds, there's no rings. So the IHD is zero. So we could use the IHD formula to calculate the number of hydrogen atoms. So we have an IHD of zero. We have 15 carbon atoms. And we need to solve for hydrogen. So multiplying both sides by two, we could cancel this two. Zero times two is simply zero. Two times 15 is 30. So we have this. I'm going to add H to both sides. And then we have 30 plus 2, which is 32. So this is going to be the answer. 32 hydrogen atoms. Now, for those of you who prefer to have a simple formula to get an answer like this, here's what you can do. We're going to rearrange the equation to solve for H. So we have IHD is equal to 2N plus 2 minus the number of hydrogens divided by 2. So to solve for H, we're going to multiply both sides by 2 first. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take negative H and move it to this side. And I'm going to take the 2 IHD, move it to that side. When I move negative H from the right to the left, it's going to change to positive H. And when I move positive 2 HD from the left to the right side, it's going to change to negative 2 IHD. So that's the formula to calculate the number of hydrogen atoms if you know the number of carbon atoms and the IHD value. So let's redo this problem using this formula. So we have 15 carbon atoms and an IHD value of 0. So 2 times 15 is 30. 2 times 0 is 0. 30 plus 2 is 32. As you can see, it's a lot easier to calculate the number of hydrogens this way. So that's the answer for part A. We have 32 hydrogen atoms. Now what about part B? How many hydrogen atoms are present in an unsaturated 18 carbon hydrocarbon with an IHG value of 4? So the fact that we're dealing with a hydrocarbon means that there's only hydrogen and carbon. We don't have nitrogen. We don't have bromine, oxygen, anything like that. Just carbon and hydrogen. So using the formula, we have 18 carbon atoms and an IHD of 4. So we're going to replace N with 18. And we're going to replace the IHD value with 4. So 2 times 18 is 36. And 2 times 4 is 8. 36 plus 2 is 38. 38 minus 8 is 30. So for B, we have... 30 hydrogen atoms. So that's how you can calculate the number of hydrogen atoms given the number of carbon atoms in a hydrocarbon and if you know the IHD value.